Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a nice Christmassy set on my lovely client Eva here. Today I'm using a new camera, a new phone camera. So please bear with me. I'm going to be trying it out and seeing how it goes. Hopefully it should be really, really good. So I'm not sure what these are going to look like. I want to try these two colours here from Glam and Glitz. We've got this red one here, which is called Tsunami, and then this kind of like frosty blue colour, which is Strut. I'm not sure what they're going to look like together, but I wanted to try it and just see, so let's see how we get on. I'm going to do a marble, and I'm also wanting to do some foil transfer picture kind of things, these holographic ones, so I'm just not sure. Oh, we're not in focus there, are we? Come on, you're all right, lovey. I'm just not sure how this is gonna go. So let's just get in with it and give it a bash. See how we get on. So I'm gonna go in and just do like frost it on this nail here. Hopefully it's in shot enough for you guys. I do like the blue. Have used this blue before. Do you know what? I feel like I haven't done some nails for so long. I really hope that this camera is going to live up to my needs. <laughs> it was flipping expensive, so it better do. I'm gonna kind of do like a marble, but I'm gonna kind of do it in like a candy cane-esque shape kind of thing. I'm gonna take the blue closer to the cuticle. I feel like I'm so out of practice with acrylic, I've not done a set of nails in so long. Like I've done just like, because I have been having a few clients lately, I've just been doing like um, just acrylic overlays with gel polish and that kind of thing. So I do feel a little bit out of practice. I'm really sorry if I'm like out of shot or if it's not in focus. Like I say, I am playing about at the minute. I'm just trying different settings and stuff. See, I don't, that's not in focus, is it? The nail that we want to be in focus. I quite like that, that's kind of fun. I'm gonna do a similar thing on the other side, but I might start with the red. Oh, not on the other side, on the next nail. But I'm just going to start with the red. Nice if it was in focus, wouldn't it? That would make my life a bit easier if it was. If it was in focus, come on!
it's kind of like marbly candy. This one's actually more candy cane -y. And less marbly. Yeah, it's fine. It's all good. And then I'm just going to do a full red. And maybe this one's going to have like the whole, the, the stars on it. Or I'm not actually sure what shapes I want to put on it yet. Try and do an ombre, but I'm not sure how that'd go. Shall I try? Shall we give it a go? Sorry if it's not in focus, guys drives me mad when I'm watching other videos on the Nine Focus, so as you can imagine, I'm not very happy with my own art. The only problem is my liquid's a little bit red now. That's not bad actually. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. So I'm now going to come in and just cap all the nails in clear before we go in and top cut and then do the foil. I'm going to use like a sticky, a sticky layer to try and put the foil in. I'm kind of like, I don't know if it's going to work, I'm not going to lie. I genuinely don't know if it's going to work, but we'll have to wait and see. So I've just left a really little bit of filing in for you guys. I've pretty much done all the filing. I'm not sure if any of this is even going to be in shot, but... There wasn't that much filing to do, which I'm really pleased about. In the shape of these actually I think I've done an all right job I feel like I'm definitely definitely getting better than like when I first started yay so I'm gonna go in with a top coat I'm not gonna buff I think actually so I'm using a 100 100 grit file but it's very old so it's probably nowhere near as like What's the word? Um, it's probably not no, nowhere near as rough as a normal 100 grit fire would be. But I've been having issues with gel polish not sticking on nails. So I want to see what this is going to look like now. I just don't want it to look all scratchy. Um, but if I buff it, then that causes problems with like, you know. 
I'm not going to wipe all the with acetone either, which is something that I used to do, but I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm just going to use a spray to get rid of anything. Because I don't know if that might be causing some issues. Who knows? So give that a good wipe over. And then... I'm going to go in with my Mia Secret Luxury UV Base and Top. The reason why I'm going to use this and I'm only going to kind of like flash cure it is because I'm going in with a foil. We need to have a really sticky layer to go in with a foil. So, fingers crossed this will work. So to start with, I'm just going to top coat them all. Yeah, so you can't see the scratches on me. It just makes me wonder why do we buff the nail? I used to love buffing the nails. I think it's amazing how it works. But then, if buffing the nail causes the gel polish not to stick, why do we bother doing it at all? Like, I don't get it. hand is really shaky. I'm quite liking that ombre. It kind of like, it, it looks like it goes red to white to like just icy blue on the tip. Right, so I'm going to cure those for like 10 seconds and then we can try the foil. Right guys, so I don't even know which side is the side that you're supposed to stick down here. I'm really like panicking about this now. doesn't come off at all. I don't really understand how you're supposed to do this. Like, am I being just really stupid or? So normally when I'm doing foils, I would go like this. So that's not doing anything. So is it the wrong side maybe? Try the other side. No, just nothing's coming off at all with these. So didn't come with any instructions or anything. Um, I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm just gonna use a little bit of Kiara Sky Dip there. This is not gonna work. This is gonna make a mess now. Oh my god, it just doesn't come off! Right guys, I've completely given up on these stupid foil things. So, I'm going to do some stamping. I've got this red glittery chrome pigment. I think it's chrome. Um, it's actually by Born Pretty. I got this from Joom. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to try and do some stamping with it. Now, these are the options we've got. I'm thinking, I mean, would it be weird to do like... <gasps> oh, I could do this one because I think the snowflakes would then be blue underneath. Is that right? And then, no it. Yeah. The red would stay on this bit. I have used this before. I've used the, um, I've used a hollow chrome before and it worked really, really well when it's stamping but obviously I haven't tried this one before and I'm not entirely sure what's gonna happen I'm a little bit scared not gonna lie do we want to try it right guys it's absolutely one million percent just not working at all so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some hand painting I've got my Poochie's nails gel paint in black there we go 
uh, I've got my Poochie's Nails gel paint in black and I'm gonna use this Mia Secret like nail art brush. I mean, let's do some art. Come on, we've got this. I'm gonna do a little bauble and I might try and use the chrome powder for the bauble. So wish me luck, you guys. This is my first time using this gel paint as well. Kind of scared. I don't want to take it too far down because it'll be really small if I do. Right, so that's it for the gel paint. So I've cured that and I'm now just going to use a, a Gelux red polish just to draw the bauble on to start with. And I'm using my Mia Secret Nail Art Design Brush. It looks like this. Right, so I decided to use a dotting tool instead and it's much, much easier to do it that way. I'm now going to cure that in the lamp. So I'm now going in with a top coat and I'm just going to go over the bauble part because I want the bauble to be quiet. I want it to stand out quite a lot. Another reason why I'm doing this is just because I know this particular gel polish tends to... to um, What's the word? If I wipe this nail now, because if I'm going to use the um, colour stuff, the chrome powder, I need to wipe the nail first. If I wipe this nail now, I know that the red is just going to run everywhere. So I'm doing this to protect that first as well. Put that in the lamp. I'm just going to wipe over the nail. We need to make sure this nail is completely wiped over so that when we go in with a chrome powder it's only going to stick to where we put the nail white top coat now. So I'm now going to go in with a no wipe top coat and just go over that bauble again. And now, wherever I put this top coat is where the chrome should stick, hopefully. Right, let's cure that. I'm now gonna go in with a chrome powder and just hope that this is gonna work. Yay, it's worked! Finally, something that we've done today has worked. Oh, cute! So we've got a nice, really metallic -y cute bauble there. I am going to go over in a top coat because we need to protect the bauble, so I am just going to go over the whole nail. But the bauble will still be risen because it is quite risen. 
Now on this hand, I want to do something just slightly different. So I'm going to use a decal from the Queen of Decals. They're not necessarily Christmas ones, but they are um, snowflake ones from, a, from the Frozen set. Gonna wipe around that with acetone. Help it stick itself down. And I'm now just going to top coat all of the nails one last time. So this is the finished result. I do think they're nice and cute. I like my little bobo. It's nice and metallic here and I like my snowflake as well. So yeah, they're a cute little set of Christmas nails. It just took such a long time because everything that we tried kept going wrong. But never mind, we got the set in the end and they're quite cute. So I hope you enjoyed this video, you guys. It will have been cut down so much for you guys compared to what I've just gone through. I've been sat here for like three hours nearly doing these nails. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please do give me a thumbs up. You know that really, really helps me out. I hope you all are enjoying Vlogmas and you've all got some really cute Christmas nails on yourself. And I will see you in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.